Hey guys, Jordan here. In this video, I'm gonna be responding to a question that I got on a video from one of you guys. So let's get into it. All right, so today's question comment uh, comes from Costa Mesa Photography. Appreciate your, your comment. It says, your opinions are spot on. Price clearly is the most important component. Second, still images are critical to capturing the interest of buyers. Every property needs great photos, but not every property needs video. In fact, very few do. Video is more important to agent branding, including uh, their use of social media, which largely markets to other agents, not home buyers. I think the reason why I picked this to um, comment on is because I just want to re re-emphasize this. I think it's really, really important to know um, what your customers value the most. You know, what are most important in this industry of real estate photography? You gotta one have um, an appropriate pricing for the quality that you're delivering to your customers, right? You can um, have a target demo of luxury agents and maybe that's all you wanna work with or maybe you wanna service everybody, maybe you wanna um, service Airbnb photography, which is actually a niche that we've been doing a lot, lot more lately, these uh, rental um, things. So if that's something that you're not targeting, it might be something that you wanna look into in your area for picking up additional customers. There's actually a lot of like property management companies that are um, servicing uh, several of these. So, but anyways, let me get back to the, this comment, right? So you gotta have good price, you know, appropriate pricing in your area. You know, if you're delivering the same product three times the cost as uh, somebody down the street. So do your homework, you know, know uh, what people are charging in, in your area for photography. You know, put yourself competitively out there. That's very important to be able to get clients. And uh, from a product's perspective, right, still images. You gotta master still images uh, before you wanna move on to uh, videography and add more tools to your tool, tool belt and, and fine tune your business from there. Because honestly, even if you just did uh, still photography and that's all you did, you did no Matterport, no video, you would still have a good select, a good uh, amount of customers now. You know, from like a popularity standpoint, I would definitely say get your photography, um, as soon as possible, get your part 107 if you're here in the United States and offer um, aerial services um, as well. I think that's a, that's really important. I think that probably goes for any area that you're in. And then obviously video. Uh, but yes, video is really important for agents. I think the agents that get it, that do video, you know, they know that's something that they can use. They know that the majority of real estate agents don't do video. So what can they do to be different? They can do video, they can do more things and that could help them get more listings in the future. So that's what savvy um, real estate agents do. They do, they they will, your customers or potential buyers, if you're a real estate agent, will look at you versus other agents. Okay, how do your listings look online? How do theirs look online? What uh, things do you offer? And that's where a lot of you know video requests come from because they wanna differentiate themselves. Why not spend an extra uh, few hundred dollars on a real estate video? when that's gonna be generating over 10 grand or however much in commission that you're gonna be getting. Because without that, maybe you wouldn't have landed that deal. So anyways, I know I kind of went off on a tangent there, but that's just, um, you know, in the real estate business. So anyways, that's it for this uh, question. If you got value out of it, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel as I uh, put out daily real estate photography videos just like this. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.